Hey, we're back again with another Nintendo Power Super Power Supplies Catalog, this time winter of 1994. Whoa, it's, it's me, Andrew. This is pretty sick, and this is Matt. Uh, <laughs> I, I love how this is like a Laid bunch out. of photos that they chopped up and did this. Do you think this is a picture of those pictures and it's not digital? I would assume in 94, it's not digital. Oh, I, it'd probably be easier to do this. Uh, Just actually? Yeah. Wow. 19, winter of 1994, that's arguably when I was born. Have you ever uh, gone snowboarding? No. Me either. That always <laughs> seems like a cool thing. Like, this guy is uh, really cool. I forced my mom to get me like a $15 uh, snowboard that was in like the impulse buy section at the register at the grocery store. And yep. I, I rode it down a hill one time and it snapped in half and I hurt myself. I had, <laughs> I, a, very, uh, I had a very similar experience, except uh, a neighbor kid borrowed mine and I just mm. never got it back. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't gonna use it anyway. Who am I kidding? Matt grew up on the streets. So, wow. Oh wow. So this is uh, this was mine when I was a kid. I was trying to buy. I, well, are you serious? This is yours when you were a kid? If you don't believe me, Matt Hall. Oh my Back god. I lived at three twenty five Lafayette Road in Syracuse, New York. Wow. You just dox yourself. Well, I guess you dox whoever lives there now. It's also a phone number written in the back. I think that's my mother's handwriting. <laughs> uh, so I clearly wanted the uh, Donkey Kong Country soundtrack. I was so into the Play It Loud campaign. We're gonna have a good time. There was there was a uh, a guide in the back. I of was one of really the into the Play It Loud campaign. It just it totally worked on me. There was a guide on how to hook your Nintendo up to a stereo. Yeah, you mentioned this, and I was. So into that, I remember just like, I remember one particular summer day opening the windows and blasting <laughs> Donkey Kong Country <laughs> and just being like, "This is so cool!" Can you uh, in this in this video right now? Can you can you do yeah the intro to Donkey Kong Country or like Jungle Japes, but like turn up the loudness on it like uh, with an effect? Yes. So it's <laughs> I'll use the sausage fattener and we'll do that right now. Okay, that was really good. All right, so if you saw the last episode, which is the uh, it's one of the other ones. 19, it's one of the other ones. So this is kind of rehashing some of this. Hey man, tune in, turn on and take to the trees. That looks like you wrote that. Um, yeah, that's that's the idea. So some of this stuff was in the other one. Uh, the Donkey Kong, the Donkey Kong family shirt has everyone's Don little signatures. So we got Funky, Diddy, Candy. Is she family? I thought she was like his girlfriend. So did I. Maybe they're married. Uh, Donkey and Cranky, who is a little Nintendo trivia. Huh? The original Donkey Kong. What? From the arcade game. No! Uh, this is pretty sick, this Donkey Kong t-shirt. Is that the iron-on t-shirt that the nerd loves so much? I think it's just a real shirt. I don't it's think it's iron-on. Do you know? Like, dude, there's oh, definitely... Oh, it's the one, it's the pocket one. There, you got Donkey and Diddy coming out of the front pocket. Oh, that's badass. And then was this on the back? Yeah. Like, there's so much collectible, like, super expensive streetwear that looks just like this. Yeah. Right now, that, like, oh my god, it's I can't very imagine. It's very funny. So, uh, so, all right, yeah, what, what are we got these? Here? Don Kong and Diddy. You got the soundtrack that was totally cranking that everyone should check out. They, they look like Simpsons. They're just characters. vinyl figures. They're not plushies? Sorry. I'm it getting, says I'm vinyl. I'm getting my big dome in the picture again. It says vinyl. Vinyl 3D characters are sure to become collector's items. Sorry, not available until late November 94. Sorry. Those are pretty sick. Uh, oh man, <laughs> the, you know that pen I gave you for your bachelor party where you turn upside down and the ladies' clothes fall off? Yeah, it's this my is, favorite pen. This is like one of those, except it's uh, got Donkey and Diddy and they His they move along out. the uh, the jungle as you turn the pen. That's badass. I would have gone. I would have bananas. Been, like yes, I would have literally gone bananas. I would have been in school all day just like fucking imagining playing Donkey Kong. Dude, I know. I have a. I have a, my. My friend was showing me the things that she got for her son. She has, she has like a nerdy son. She's like a nerd herself, just like from Amazon. It's like these really specific, super cool, like Mario and like Nintendo stuff. And I'm like, oh my God, I would have died for that when I was a kid. Yeah, it, you know, honestly, what, what bothers me is like, I went to a gas station over the summer I was traveling. I, I just don't, I don't leave my block <laughs> when I'm yeah. home. When I'm traveling, I go to different shops and stuff. There was just Mario figures like at the CVS. Yeah, they're everywhere. And like full play sets, like mm -hmm. full like uh, like three D renditions of like the first couple levels of Mario, kind of like wow, like full like oh not my like God. the whole level, but like uh, dioramas. So yeah, full like, a fully three D diorama with like the blocks, the items, and like a little Mario figure that like sat in the middle of it. I was like, as a kid, I would have lost. You my couldn't mind. get that shit. You had to buy this kind of shit. Where like. 
you know. But this is like not everyone had this. Like, no. This is, to get this is contingent on your parents first letting you get Nintendo Power and then you let, making you like letting you order something additional from it. Right. Ah, we're getting off. We're getting off track. Anyway, wow, this is a full door Fulgore. They are That's really. That's a six foot Fulgore poster. Was Killer Instinct this big and I Killer just missed was, it? Well, it was huge in 1994, so yeah. I think you did miss it. Oh, that's what I, I was getting born in. It was a uh, yeah, it was an enormous arcade hit, and then it was a very good Super Nintendo port. Even still, my my knowledge of it now, it seems like it was just like a a, a flash in the pan. Like it was one game. It seems like it was one game that was pretty good. Well, there's Killer Instinct, Killer Instinct Two, and then Killer Instinct Gold for the N64, and then uh, there was another Killer Instinct that is I don't know if it was as successful commercially, but it it has a very <laughs> strong you know following in the. Yeah. Uh, Tournament fighter, you know, community. Matt, your mom's a full four door Ford whore. Ugh. What is this? All right, so we got the Killer Instinct snow lid. That's a really cool way to say toque. What's it say? <laughs> Caution. This hat is cool, but what some of you psychos need is a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> That's really awesome. Dude, oh I'm man. Gonna, dude, I'm gonna roll up to school. I'm gonna be wearing my snow lid. I got my medallion on. There's a Killer Instinct hat, and on the back it says, uh, it's got, I think it's a, a buckle maybe, but it says Ultra 64 on the back. It says Ultra 64? The, it does, yeah. Before the Nintendo 64 was the Nintendo 64, yeah. it was the Nintendo Ultra 64. Did they, does that mean they they fabricated this hat before it became the 64? Yeah, the, that Nintendo really 64 didn't come out in 1994. Didn't that come out in 96? I actually don't know. Well, that's pretty wild that they would, because Killer Instinct wasn't even on the N64. That was a Super Nintendo and arcade game. That is bonkers. Uh, another stupid medallion. You got the, uh, the, actually for some reason, I'm more attracted to this medallion. Yeah, I think In, in fact, I circled it and circled wanted it. it. That one does look kind of cool. I was obsessed with Metroid, not because I had played the games, because I the games were really kind of too hard for me as a child. I, yeah. I couldn't under, I got somewhere with uh, Metroid 2 for Game Boy because there was a counter. You could see how many Metroids you had left because you were trying to yeah. eliminate all the Metroids. So I, the, I could understand I was making progress. But the first one was just impossible. First one was impossible for me and Metroid, uh, Super Metroid, I just never got a chance to play. But there was a comic in the Nintendo Power magazine that was serialized through a number of issues. I know it's been reprinted since then, mm -hmm. but it's like a really, really sick Metroid comic, and so I got really into the characters oh, okay. through that. And so that's probably why I was uh, that's so crazy. That medallion. I think that's a perfect example of how there's a generational gap between us because my my first Super Metro, or my first Metroid game was um, Metroid Prime on the GameCube. Good game. I had the same exact experience. I loved playing it. I thought it was super cool. I couldn't beat it. It was way too fucking hard for I me as a kid. I got very far and could not beat that game either. I got a little bit farther in Metroid Fusion, which is my yep. second Metroid game, and that was great, but it's the same, same instance. So it's interesting that that maintained for several generations. But let's do, let's do a deep dive. What do we yeah, have the here? Metroid hat. So this is just like Samus's little icon. I have never seen it in that color. I think this is the Screw Attack yeah. logo. But and I, it's funny because Screw Attack would later become the video game network that would launch Angry Video Game Nerd yeah. and uh, a bunch of other popular shows. Uh, who's that guy you like that does the parody songs? Weird Al? Brental Floss. Oh, Brental Floss. I love Brental <laughs> Floss. Uh, and also the really good show from the, the temporarily disgraced <laughs> oh, Pro Jared. Jared. Uh, his, his clerks rip off. Or not his clerks his rip, scrubs off. rip off. His scrubs rip off, yes. Come on, Chun-Li. Is that all you got? Hot Game scrubs. So <laughs> there's there's a magic eye poster. It's called the Stare E O right. poster, but this is sick. So that that design is super cool. I gotta we gotta jump into the stare stereo poster. The nerd mentioned that in his Nintendo Power mag, uh, video. That's how I that's how I learned about Nintendo Power when I was a kid. I didn't know it existed. Uh, when I saw the nerd video, I was like, oh my god, this is so cool. What the fuck is this? How do you do this? Magic eye? Yeah. You didn't have magic eye. I don't think so. Oh, they put Magic Eye in the newspapers in the 90s, too. I don't. I think I totally missed this. Is it, the, it, are you supposed to stare at it? It's until a stereo, like you... what is it, a stereoscopic image. You basically, you, you hold it close to your eyes, your eyes kind of cross, and then it it creates a 3D image can that I, you can only see. Do you think I could try it with this? Definitely not. I'm gonna try it. I'm, I'm so sure it's not gonna work, but What's maybe it, what it am I supposed to see, do you know? I think you also can't do it with glasses. Who needs glasses? And I don't know what you're supposed to see. I don't know, man. I'm not sure. Maybe you had your uh, your jeweler's monocle. <laughs> I'll go steal it. Your, off. your your watch repair kit. Ah, I left it at home. Um, 
Yeah, it, it, it just creates a three-dimensional image. Uh, it, they don't work for everybody. I don't know if you've ever seen Mall Rats, there's, the, there's a joke where the guy's trying to see the magic eye image for the entire movie. <laughs> he can't do it. And it's a schooner, and, and, and he doesn't know what a schooner is, but he also can't see the image. That's anyway, uh, that's is... what that is. But this, I don't know if that if I that's am communicating so this, badass. this is this image, but it glows in the dark and becomes that. Oh my god, I didn't realize that. That's really cool. That is a very, very you sick print. You, you shut your lights off to go to bed at night. You're bummed out that you're, you don't get to play Super Metroid anymore because you your mom told you you got to go to bed. But then you look at your fucking sick ass poster and it starts glowing in the dark. Samus is about to kick her uh, kick. Well, you don't you don't know Samus is a girl at that point, so you still think she's really cool, right? Because uh, <laughs> as a young boy, that was that was that was a rough day. And you take your Metroid medallion and you heat you it up <laughs> and you and you just brand yourself. Oh! <laughs> all right, let's move on. Whoa! All right, so we have a. Uh, Pretty sick Metroid, or Metroid. Metroid, Z, sword, and shield hat. This is Zelda's hat. That looks like you, <laughs> this is the real hat that Zelda wore. Everybody's grabbing Link's sword and shield. This is your top selling hat. Oh, this is our top selling hat. I wanted this. I was, uh, can you believe I was very into puzzles as a, as a child? I can't believe it. There's a Master Sword puzzle. I think that's really fucking cool. That 432 is... pieces. $16. I know that's more with inflation over the years, but that's that's just so bizarre to me. This looks like you could go to GameStop and buy it right now. Yeah. That looks like merch, that it's like looks identical. Another cool thing, I, I thought the little Triforce logo, uh, that the Triforce is on the back, I thought that was sick. I don't, it, it's kind of dumb that it says Triforce. <laughs> yeah, it's the Triforce. Uh, Can you just, where is it? It's just on the back, like the- I think it's just right in Naples. the back center. I've seen this in person one time at a, a thrift shop. Not a thrift shop, like a, more like a high-end secondhand boutique. Uh, Whoa! This Zelda pen, this is a triangular pen. I think I covered this in the solo video. Looks like it's made of gold. It is. It's made out of pure gold. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so Only this, this $15? Pen, oh, $1,500. Oh, okay. Makes uh, sense. Illusion of Gaia, I never played that game. Isn't that uh, in... Is Illusion of Gaia related to Secret of Evermore? I have no idea. I really don't know. Well, I never played these games at all. Apparently, I like the, the Gaia Enviro pen, not the oh, the pen and the paper are made from recycled material. Hey. Wow! Ha! This yeah. used to be a math book. <laughs> I like that they Homework double. Sucks. No, play games instead. I like how they doubled down on the Gaia and Zelda hoodie. You're like, you can get the Gaia one or the Zelda theme. Hey, what RPG nerd doesn't want to rep their favorite game? Nah. Uh, pour in 11 ounces of hot H2O and you'll see the magic image change. Uh, yeah, so the, the cup, an image appears in the cup. That's cool. I have a cup like that. What does yours turn into? Uh, mine is a man in a suit and it says the FBI always gets their man. And then uh, when you put hot water in, the suit uh, turns white and there's like prison bars and he, uh, oh, no. he's like, he's in jail. It's really funny. I can't tell if you're serious. I'm dead serious. Let's see what other shit I wanted back in 94. World's best gamer. Wow. The the Play It Loud shirt, and this is like a very normcore version of this. Yeah, right? It's like a, je a jean jacket turned into a hat. There's the, uh, there's the jean jacket, the Play It Loud high volume jean jacket. This doesn't look like Nintendo gear to me. Oh, this is for the adult gamer, you know? Oh, yes. Uh, I also covered this in another video, but it's the Expedition Weight High Sierra Pack with a full length cargo pocket and a zippered side opening. Sierra. It has the High Sierra logo on the top. This is just a High Sierra backpack, like a hiking pack, with, with a Play a, It Loud emblem stitched onto it at the bottom. Probably with a significant markup. I'd buy it, that's badass. If I want, if I was a hiker in the 90s. I was I so wanting to be a POG champion that <laughs> I, I circled all, all the All four of them, yeah. That, I, want, I was trying to get, what, this is like, $30, $40 worth of pogs. That's a lot of pogs. Jungle caps, we got <sighs> Killer Instinct caps, we got Mega Man X caps. Let's take a second right here. If you got the January 94 bonus issue, you got the first card of this collector set. What is this not caps? Are they, aren't these pogs? Maybe, are, are pogs maybe, maybe it's a card of caps. That's weird. Um, now's the time to pick up the other two. Three separate cards with oh, six caps. Oh, wow. I do think I had that. Is Mega Man one? Or that, that issue? Yeah. Dude, we got X, we got Storm Eagle, we got Z, we got two X's, that's the same picture, just zoomed out. We got a zero, <laughs> we got Chill Penguin, 
We have a uh, Mr. Chameleon. Dude, you got all of them. You have the the elephant. Uh, another zero. Another X. Where's Boomer Kawanger? I don't see him. Okay, okay Boomer. Okay, Boomer. The, oh, they got Launch Octopus back there. I would have lost my shit if I saw some Mega Man X gear like Stunt that. Stunt Race FX. <laughs> that game was really okay. I love that one. Super Metroid uh, and the Club Cap Slammer Holder and Slammer Board. Is this the radioactive thing? Is that the Slammer? I think it is. It's brand spanking new. Wow. I can't, like, so I mentioned this again in my solo video, but Pogs were milk caps. Pog is like the brand name. Mm. Enormous. I, 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 to, I don't know anything about Pogs. I, I think it was like about Pogs. Maybe, maybe 16 months, but it was a worldwide craze. I can't believe how big it was. I actually went to a Pog tournament at the mall and competed. <laughs> Did you win? I got, I, I got knocked out in the very first round. No! Dude, hold on. Go back a page. Do you want to call Club Caps? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's give it a call. Let's see what happens. Okay. 1-800... I hope they sell pogs. This call may be recorded for quality assurance. We have a special promotion today for select callers. <gasps> if you are over 50, please <gasps> press 1 now. If not, press 2. <laughs> Just for calling in today, you have qualified to receive free roadside assistance. All right, fuck it. Uh, I want my fucking pogs! This is not a... You cut! We're pretty much at the end of the catalog here. There's a little thing that tore off. Uh, this is the same as, as the other as the other video here. Uh, we got some other we got, stuff. We got a little Game Boy carrying case. More Nintendo stuff. Uh, a oh, magazine these, protector. That's, co that's cool. That's actually like a good idea. Yeah. These are the cards. These cards came in the back of every issue of Nintendo Power. Yeah! But these are like a, a special, you know, like high quality version of them. Wow. And uh, for the fifteen dollars for these, oh, is this a, a full deck of them? I think it's the, the entire set of fifty. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, God, I hope that was appreciated in value. I don't think they did. Ugh. I recently sold a bunch for almost nothing. Uh, and you got a book for all your pogs. I never had a book to keep them in. I just kept them in a like a like a. I had like I, I can't even show it on camera. I had like a like a you know probably like an eighteen inch pog tube. It was very big. They just oh, kept like them all a, in like tube. a Pringles can. They, they, they came in different sizes. You know, there was like there was like small ones. There was like a regulation kind of stack one. Uh, there was like some absurdly large ones as well, like novelty ones almost. God, we gotta play. Can we? Do you have your pogs? Yeah. Can you teach me how to play pogs? Yeah, we'll do a pog episode soon. Okay. Uh, the only difference here, I think, is the Final Fantasy III guide has a different cover art this time around. Is that a variant? <laughs> it, it, it. I think so. And, uh... Oh, super tall ten gift card! Certificate, tall, ten dollars. And say heck no to ugly sweaters this holiday. That's right, the ugly sweater joke was around even in the 90s. Wow, even then. And there's two stamps, so I got at least so four can, stamps here all together. Put more stamps there. And, uh, got a couple other items there on the back, just repeating what we already saw. Those are hot Please items. Please don't dox me, I lived there 40 years ago. <laughs> and that is, uh, winter, 1994. Cool. Totally radical! Uh, bye.